In this video, I'm going to talk about how to determine whether a point lies on a line, whether a point lies on a plane, and whether a line lies on a plane. To determine whether a point lies on a line, first we substitute the coordinates of the point into the equation of the line. Then we try to find all the values of the lambda. If the values of the lambda is the same, then the point lies on the line. If the values of the lambda are different, then the point does not lie on the line. Let's look at this example. Determine whether the point A lies on the line given here. First, we convert the equation of the line into the column vector form. Then, we substitute the point into this equation. Now, from the first line, now we find that 0 is equal to 2 minus 2 lambda. From the second row, we find that 7 is equal to 4 plus 3 lambda. And from the third row, we find that 13 is equal to 5 plus 8 lambda. So from each of the equation here, we try to find the value of the lambda. So from the result here, we find that the lambda is equal to 1. So since the values of the lambda is the same, so we make conclusion that the point A lies on the line. Now, for the second example, determine whether the point B lies on the line given here. So, for this straight line, the equation is in the Cartesian equation. So, first, we separate each of the term here by using lambda. So, now we are going to substitute the value of x and y from the coordinates. For the value of x, when we substitute x with negative 2, now lambda is equal to 3 over 2. For values of y, when y is equal to 9, then lambda is negative 6. When z is equal to 1, now lambda is equal to 0. So from here, we find that the lambda are different. So since the values of the lambda are different, then we make conclusion that the point does not lie on the line. Now we are going to determine whether a point lies on a plane. So to do this, first we try to substitute the coordinate of the point into the equation of the plane. Then if the point satisfies the equation, then the point lies on the plane. Now for this example, let's determine whether the point A lies on this plane given. So first we convert the equation of the plane into the column vector form. Now we are going to substitute the coordinates of the point into the equation of the plane here. So when we substitute the coordinate x, y, z here and we try to find the dot product, then from the result we find that it is equal to 3. From the equation of the plane, we find that this coordinate point satisfy the equation. So we can make the conclusion that the point lies on the plane. Next, we try to determine whether the point B lies on the plane given here. For this plane, the equation of the plane is given in the Cartesian form. So now we are going to substitute the values of x, y, and z from the coordinate point given here. So when we substitute the x, y, z and we simplify, we find that the value is equal to 4. So when we compare with the equation of the plan given, it is not equal to 11. So since the coordinate 
point does not satisfy the equation of the plane, so we make conclusion that the point does not lie on the plane. Now we are going to determine whether a line lies on a plane. So there are two conditions if we say that a line lies on a plane. The first one, the line must be parallel to the plane. Then the second one, the fixed point of the line lies on the plane. So first we are going to determine whether the line is parallel to the plane. If the line is parallel to the plane, then the direction vector of the line is perpendicular to the normal of the plane. So in this case, the dot product between the direction vector of the line and the normal vector of the plane is equal to zero. Next, we are going to determine whether the fixed point of the line lies on the plane. So we try to substitute the fixed point of the line into the plane. If the fixed point satisfies the equation of the plane, then means the fixed point lies on the plane. Now, based on the calculation, if the line is parallel to the plane and the fixed point lies on the plane, then we can make conclusion that the line lies on the plane. If the line is parallel to the plane, but the fixed point does not lie on the plane, then we can make conclusion that the line does not lie on the plane, but just parallel to the plane. Now, if the line is not parallel to the plane, either the fixed point lies on the plane or does not lie on the plane, we can make conclusion that the line does not lie on the plane, but intersects the plane. Now, let's look at this example. Determine whether the line given here lies on the plane. So, first, from the equation of the line, so we find that the direction is 4, 3, and 5. From the equation of the plane, the normal is 2, negative 1, and 1. So now we are going to find the dot product. So from the dot product, we find that it is equal to 0. So when the dot product is equal to 0, this means that the direction of the line is perpendicular to the normal. So this means that the line is parallel to the plane. Next, I'm going to find out whether the fixed point of the straight line lies on the plane. So from the equation, the fixed point of the line is 1, 2, and negative 1. Then I'm going to substitute the fixed point into the equation of plane. And when I substitute and simplify, it is equal to 1. When I compare with the equation of the plane, so I find that this fixed point satisfy the equation of the plane. So from the result just now, since the line is parallel to the plane and the fixed point also lies on the plane, so I can make conclusion that the line lies on the plane. Now, next example, let's determine whether the line given here lies on the plane. So, first, from the equation of the straight line, the direction vector is 1, 2, and 0. And the normal of the plane is 2, negative 1, and negative 1. Then, I try to find the dot product. So, from the dot product, it is equal to 0. So since the dot product is equal to zero, so means that the direction of the line is perpendicular to the normal of the plane. So therefore, the line is parallel to the plane. Next, I'm going to determine whether the fixed point of the straight line lies on the plane. So now from the equation of the straight line, the fixed point is 3, 2, and negative 3. Then I'm going to substitute this point into the equation of the plane. So when I substitute, 
I find that it is equal to 7. Now when I compare with the equation of the plan, I find that it is not equal to 1. So this means that the fixed point of the line does not satisfy the equation of the plan. So means that the fixed point does not lie on the plan. So finally, I can make conclusion that the line does not lie on the plan. Now for this example, we are going to determine whether the line given here lies on the plan here. So from the equation of the straight line, the direction of the line is negative 1, 3 and 2. And from the equation of the plan, the normal is 2, negative 1 and negative 1. So now I'm going to calculate the dot product of these two vectors and I find that it is equal to negative 7. Since it is not equal to 0, so this means that the line is not perpendicular to the normal of the plane. So this means that the line is not parallel to the plane. Once I know that the line is not parallel to the plane, so I am not interested to find out whether the fixed point of the line lies on the plane. So immediately I can make conclusion that the line does not lie on the plane. So actually the line intersects the plane.